Hello and welcome to my channel. This video is going to be dedicated to the moon again. Why do we keep talking about the moon? Because the moon is the biggest sign in the sky that everyone can see with their two eyes, no equipment required. You don't need a camera, you don't need a telescope, you don't need binoculars, just your eyes and the willingness to go outside and look at the moon twice you know, in a minimum three or four hours apart. Now, what we're talking about here is that the moon is rolling like a clock or cartwheeling from our perception here on Earth. Uh, we've got four and a half hours of time stamped pictures with structures to eliminate any possibility that these photos were altered or rotated. We've got trees, we've got buildings, We've got signs. Uh, this starts at 6.32 p.m. and these are from yesterday. I took these. Uh, I was working at night so I took the time out to do it. Starting at 6.30 and ending at 11. This is basically where we could first see it as the sun was beginning to, st st you know, it was going to set in about an hour or so so we could start to see the moon because the sun wasn't too bright. Uh, and this is just before it's set, maybe 20, 30 minutes before then. So how you can tell, like in this case, the moon is almost half, half full. We, we look at the Terminator line. You can also look at the craters, but unfortunately the camera I was using is just not quite good enough. But the Terminator line is perfect enough. Uh, what's happening is the moon is rolling in my case in the northern hemisphere clockwise it's counterclockwise or anti-clockwise in the southern hemisphere the equator is a little different it kinda just does a quick little flip over like a four hour period and I've got a friend that's got pictures of that too and he's down in Darwin Australia and he's close enough to the equator where he can see uh, normally would be counterclockwise for him but he, like I said he's close enough to where he can get clockwise and counterclockwise and even equatorial views of the moon so he's in a very unique position to see every aspect of what the moon is doing now which is started in the earliest time we know is October 2010 so the moon has almost been rolling like a clock for almost 10 years and I 99% of the world meh, who knows? We don't know about other countries. They may know more, but 90% of the world does not know that this is going on or know that this is not normal. The moon should not be doing this. It should rise and set in the exact same orientation despite what anyone tells you. This is proven. You can look through lunar phases. You can look online. You can search all kind of terms you want, different search engines. None of them will tell you the moon should roll like a clock at a rate of 15 degrees an hour. What else turns on its axis providing us night and day at 15 degrees an hour? The Earth. So it's not the moon. It's our perception of the moon from here on Earth that is making the moon roll. Now, wh why the moon is rolling is because the Earth is on its side. A stronger magnet called a sun has tilted us over. Just like Uranus. Uranus is on its side. So it's not far-fetched to believe that the Earth is on its side. Because we have an example in our very own solar system that it can happen. Now, the North Pole or the South Pole is not facing the sun the poles are perpendicular because we still have night and day. If one of the poles was directly pointing at the sun, and like I'm saying, the Earth is tilted on its side, whatever pole or hemisphere was pointing towards the sun would have constant daytime, and then the opposite hemisphere would have constant day, uh, nighttime. Uh, so we know that's not the case. So we know the poles are perpendicular to the sun because we have night and day and we still have seasons as bad as they are now 
they're still happening. We're still getting spring, summer, fall, and winter. Though they are screwed up. All right, so with your eyes, you can see the craters well enough. So you'll, you'll notice that the Terminator line and the craters move together when you look. Unfortunately, I just can't show you craters because just the camera's not good enough. But the Terminator line is the line that separates the light side and the dark side. And it should be vertical like this minus libration, which is six degrees, and that happens over several days. This is an hourly change. Uh, the moon should change on a daily basis as our phases. As in this case, the moon will continue back towards full moon, and that's a daily change. This is hourly. Okay, so terminator lines, you can see this is, say, pointing at 11 and 5. Here we're at more like uh, towards noonish, 1 o'clock. Six, seven o'clock, and here it's more towards two and eight, and here it's even a little a little farther. Now, like I said, I've eliminated all possibilities that I have rolled pictures over because we have slightly different locations. We have trees. We've got buildings. This is the corner of a building, and your rain gunner downspout. So this isn't turned sideways, and then we have a interstate highway sign here so plus our timestamps all right so this is a good example and what we're see here is about 60 degrees of rotation so 4 times 50 15 sorry 1 5 same as the earth turns on its axis 15 degrees so like I said 4 times 15 equals 60 and we have about between here and here about 60 degrees of rotation which is what we have been seeing me personally for three years but others have seen it as far back as uh, October 2010 people have even moved out the coast as soon as they saw this because they know that it's not right now people may say oh it's field rotation well field rotation applies to cameras and telescopes and if you Google search field rotation let's just go do that real quick field rotation uh, field rotation mounted telescopes telescope mounts Telescope equatorial mount, open fork mounts, field rotation. The reason why they have field rotation set up on here is because cameras and telescopes can't move by themselves. They don't have necks. Uh, there we go. Cameras and telescopes. Nothing about our eyes. Now this, what you're seeing is how the the, the mount has to co compensate because it can't turn and look for itself. None of this applies to our, our eyes, so you can't say it's field rotation because we have a neck and can turn. Uh, obviously, we don't have manipulated pictures because I've doubled made sure. Let's check out lunar phases. Uh, let's go to the wiki. I posted this on my Facebook page with this link. Lunar phase Wikipedia. Now this is a full year of lunar phases um, in the northern hemisphere. There's a southern hemisphere. And notice the moon is orbiting the earth. Here the sun I guess they're pointing down here for the sun and as you can see where this the sun side is lit of the moon now let's see time 
you can follow this along and this is over several days and months and years and as you can see we don't see the terminator line horizontal now i wasn't able to obviously get pictures of that last night yet we can still say that for the amount of time that the moon was visible here we can calculate knowing the speed of the earth at 15 degrees an hour plus the four hours we got 60 degrees so a libration is about six degrees over excuse me a few days well we've got an hourly change at 15 degrees that's still eight degrees more than the normal libration in an hour where librations over the over a few days period uh, the earth does the same it has libration but they call it procession all right so we've gone over field rotation lunar phase uh, shown you uh, shown you libration all the excuses that people will try to give you to say try to normalize this but this is not normal now the other way is I'm 42 years old and we know that the moon's been only been turning like a clock for 10 years just shy October will be 10 years n known so for the thir first 32 years of my life the moon did not roll like a clock these two pictures show it how it pretty much should be throughout a night it should stay vertical here in the northern hemisphere of the United States so here we have given several explanations of how this is not normal we've got vibration we've got field rotation we've got observation of anyone that's probably 30 years or older that has paid attention at all would have noticed that this is not normal because like I said for 32 years of my life the moon did not do this so that eliminates field rotation in itself so I challenge you to go outside and all you gotta do is look at the moon twice you know you could look up the times of when it rises and sets and check it out then over a 12 hour period you're gonna see about 180 degrees of rotation because if you calculate 15 times 15 degrees of rotation times 12 hours you get 180 degrees uh, another way you could explain it where why it rises wax and sets wane you know as it's rolling around different times of the month you can see it do it'll rise in a different position and s than it maybe it did a week before so anyways that's something this is a like I said some pictures I took last night so they're up to date they're not old uh, basically I got it from the full time it was visible last night from just before sunset or so until moon set 60 degrees of rotation okay uh, if you have any questions uh, you can comment below um, we'll add links to my Facebook group where you can get a lots more information or even angry catfish Briggs his YouTube channel and I think I even included his Facebook page we've been going over this for years so uh, it's time now to wake up get your head out of the sand start paying attention the earth has gone through major changes and we got some even more catastrophic changes upcoming. Have a good day.